Hi guys, how's it going? So we are out here on a beautiful, cool, and rainy day at the deer blind that we built earlier. I guess I should say we refurbished uh, earlier this year. It is still deer season. Uh, however, they stopped migrating through this area as much, so I'm going to abandon it, and it's just going to become our uh, a new bushcraft shelter this winter because I want to see how well this, uh, this canvas tarp continues to hold up. Um, and I mean, as you've seen, whenever we first come out, we had a lot of heavy rain uh, and it weighed the uh, tarp down and, you know, and you combine that with the winds. So I got all of it, you know, restrung out. It's taut now and I was able to raise this wall by staking that corner out, which is good because this area right here is where we'll be laying. Um, and if you noticed in the title, I put hypothermic conditions. That's for a reason because uh, the high for today is 55 degrees and the low for tonight is 39 to 40 degrees and whenever it is this wet I mean like especially like all the wood I could find is completely soaked through uh, without getting into like you know processing uh, like going deep into the wood processing and splitting it and all that good old stuff so more of the story is you want to you know you want to stay dry or even at 50 and 60 degrees you can you can become hypothermic right now i just got on my uh, really nice moisture wicking uh, little donkey andy button-up shirt and nothing underneath it and it was great for hiking in here with the poncho over because the poncho does hold heat moving around setting everything up uh but as you can see you can see my breath it's cool like now that i'm sitting under here i'm gonna have to take and pull out the uh get this light out so i'm gonna have to figure out how i want to hang this light because i really like that at night comes in handy but i got my uh one of my <clears throat> bare skin fleece hoodies it's super thick so it'll be really great and then tonight we're going to be using uh one of my ectos 100 wool king size blankets uh you know wool's great in conditions like this because because it will retain body heat even if it gets soaking wet and you know even though this is planned i knew this was here but i didn't know what condition it would be in currently uh, so i did bring an extra poncho with me just in case i had to rig something up um but then as you've seen i, I kicked this back wall out surrounded that with rocks to you know keep that from catching on fire but it's soaked through as well so i got the got the fire going um it's not as much going to act as a heat source as it is to help dry things out i mean it does you know provide heat and it feels really good to set beside it you know having a fire kind of helps take the take the chill out of your bones uh, whenever it's this wet then one of the biggest challenges uh when it comes to fire other than just getting it initially started keeping on top of getting wood near your fire so that it can dry out so once you put it on there um, it won't take as long uh, to catch when things are this soaked through if you wait till it burns down too low i mean once you have a nice bed of coals you'll be good but the the rain is supposed to pick up in a little bit and this is not you know the fire's not covered there's a good I don't know, a good about six inches between the edge of this and the fire and this is an extremely uh heavy canvas and it's soaking wet so there's no no worries about that um, right now i just got my gloves right here at the edge so the heat can start to dry those out because those are soaking wet and we'll also be able to use it to uh, to dry our boots out because uh, these are leather boots and they are waterproof but once leather gets so saturated um, it will start to kind of seep through one thing that really helps with that is gators um, these are my pipe trail gators y'all seen these in, in tons of videos already they're still going strong because whenever you're you got a poncho protects pretty much everything but when you're going through uh you know bush uh grass whatever uh then your, the bottom of your pants legs will get soaking wet and then it seems like they never want to dry out so that helps and then the other thing that i'm using for uh the second time uh this is like the first time i've had them out in the heavy rain which would help if you're wearing leather boots is pike trail also makes uh, a pair of waterproof socks so i got those on they're breathable but they're waterproof so you know we'll uh We'll see how those fare in the long run. Yeah, today's uh, today's trip is really just about getting out here and, and you know enjoying uh, enjoying the inclement eastern woodland weather and uh, you know just testing our testing our skills out, continuing to try out the gear. There's no uh, no new gear today, just running the current stuff through the paces and having a good time. I think I got an idea on how I can string this light up in a 
way that'll be useful later as long as this jute twine doesn't get like it doesn't cause any water to run down from there there's a side support pole right here that i can tie to and then we could run it up oh, run it up to here and i probably want it to hang about right there so tie a loop for the hook to hang on cool deal if we need to we could tie a drip line right at the head of the of the line Yeah. It's a little looser than I would like. Than I would like it, but yeah, that'll work. It'll be good. Now, normally I would wait until a bit later to uh, get my bed and stuff set out, but since. It's a, a wool blanket. Like we ain't, we ain't gonna blow the air pad up until later. We're just going to uh, get our mat out, get the wool blanket rolled out. That way I can make sure if I need to, uh, like, do, no, fall backwards. No, oh, I got you, there we go. Cool, all right. Don't wanna get this too dirty. I'm really glad that I got those two big logs back there because that, you know, keeps anything from running up because it's been blocked off with leaves for so long. Okay, so this is that Wynex shooting mat. It's waterproof. That'll help prevent any pokies from getting to our uh, sleeping mat, plus, I mean to our sleeping pad, plus the wool blanket will be, worse as a king size wool blanket, it'll be, you know, covering all edges and such i really love these nrs pull straps because it makes attaching a blanket or a sleeping pad or a sleeping bag to your bag really easy if i would have thought i would have rolled the sleeping by uh, the wool blanket in this mat but i'm so used to carrying that mat on the top of this bag that would have kept it from getting dirty and if you had to set it down when it was wet then that would keep it from getting wet and actually we need to be getting in from this side I don't want to have to roll it out all the way because I don't want the foot area to get too messed up and the way this ground is, it's like so lofted, like so lofted up with uh, like dead debris and everything. You really don't even need a sleeping pad, so I might not even use my blow-up mat. Keep the poncho away from the fire, and everything will be peachy. And I don't know if you can, yeah, you probably can't see it good from here, but use that one pine tree that was a support, and I've got these larger pieces of wood just hovering over the heat. Uh, you know, we can. It'll make it a lot easier for them to catch fire later after we put them on. Alright, this is going to be probably the most difficult part because now I've got y'all on the tripod under here with me. So I've let that die down a bit. Oh, now, as far as food goes, we got a delicacy today. got some homemade barbecue and Mexican sauce. I'm really digging using this titanium lunchbox and then like having some pre-prepped food in a Ziploc bag because then it's really easy. Just take it out, warm it up, and enjoy. And then one reason why I want to, well, I don't want to burn, I don't want to melt plastic on it. One reason I want to do this right at this exact moment is because I'm hungry, but also uh, the rain is slacking off just a little bit right now. So before any potentially heavier rain comes through, there you go, look at all that goodness. I got to take in, I poured in the barbecue sauce into the bag before I uh, come, so I got to 
get it all nice and mixed up. I just hope that I put enough, but I mean, this barbecue's got really good smoky flavor to it regardless. Oh yeah, and I'm glad I remember. So this time I remembered to bring the uh, the Camping Moon grate. That, that'll help balance things out. There's plenty of heat coming off this to start warming it up. Move some of this stuff to the side. Commandeer this seating position, still in the dry. I can probably get my... Didn't help heat, th <coughs> heat things up, I can... Don't need to cook it, just got to warm her up. It's just a, just a big old pan full of meat though, so it'll take it a second. What's taken? Where did my water bottle go? Oh, I'm sitting on it. Oh. Bro. Mm. That is heavenly, bro. That is heavenly. A hundred out of a ten. Oh, well, guys, I'm going to take him, finish lusting over this uh, barbecue. <clears throat> and really, the only thing left to do is just get some more wood. I'm going to, I'm going to chill out, and uh, if it comes a heavier rain right now, it's still just a nice little gentle pitter powder um so it might just continue like this throughout <clears throat> throughout the rest of the this late evening and into the night so i'll get back with y'all whenever we're at the uh the next step Oh, all right, guys. So it is. Uh, it is that time. It is uh, time to hit the hay. Um, it ended up. It's quit raining. Um, a nice little fog has kind of moved in in the past hour or two. It's about eight o'clock right now. Took and uh, threw some more wood on the fire. I went out and got some more. Of that stuff up top is still very. Uh, it's very dry now. Um, definitely got colder. Uh, where I just kicked the uh, the fire up by throwing that stuff on there. I don't know if you can if my breath will show up on camera or not but uh like right now i could like if once i'm under the wool blanket i don't think like i'm only gonna be able to use one layer and keep this on but like i would like i would like to have this on and uh you know go ahead and kind of warm up the layer of the wool blanket that i'm going to be under so i'm going to have uh at least two layers of this wool blanket underneath me where it's king size so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of how I'll be how I'll be situated. I got to scoot this down at the foot and fold it over. That's the only thing you won't see, but that's not a complicated process. I just got to figure out this fold. Um, but I really like how that camp light illuminates uh, this area, and hopefully it shows up good on there. The way I had it the first time at the very beginning, what what it was the right way because where it's double folded over, to have the opening on this side. We need it here. 
Yeah, you know what? I'll just try to. I'll just do it like a double fold, like you would a regular twin. But I mean, yeah, that right there is it. And just roll this, roll this foot area up so our toes don't stick out. If it was if it was any colder, I would do the diamond corner fold over. And with that, you can get a bunch of layers on your uh, core area. But but yeah, like this this shelter doesn't hold heat, but the heat radiates inside and kind of does its thing. But where the uh, where that front area that you're at is wide open, and this ends, so you know, still pretty open. It's just a lot of airflow. Luckily, the wind's not really blowing, so it ain't that bad. There is like a six percent chance of some light precipitation once we get to like one two a.m. and it's eight, so I'll probably fall asleep if I lay down now. I mean, obviously I have to get back up and you know situate that thing but uh odds are i'll probably wake up at like four if i had to guess because i probably fall asleep around nine or ten like i'll listen to a to a podcast or something and call it a day so let's get the uh let's get the gators off the thing i'm curious about is these waterproof socks I mean, you can never really tell just by feel, you know, like if your feet are wet or... Because it normally happens gradually enough in boots that your foot acclimates to the to the moist environment as it happens. I will say they break comfortable. Like, nothing, nothing to knock on the comfort so far. Well, yeah, the socks are definitely dry. And the inside of my boots, my boot is a, uh, it's warm and moist, but I mean, I don't know, I like to play around with it more, but like, it's definitely dry. Find the remote to our light here, so after we crawl in, biggest thing now, like we've done a good job because of the way we kept our blanket closed off and not getting crap in it. So now, we can do this. And you know, like I said, if I need to wake up in the middle of the night, to blow up my sleeping pad, that is perfectly fine, but this should be good. So yeah, we'll just get under here, make sure. And where there's so much excess wool blanket up here at the head, we can wad it up and use it as a pillow. I mean, I've got other stuff that I could use, but that'll be just fine. Oh, wait, where's, there we go. Oh. It feels really good on the back to like lay on something that's like firm. Out there in that backpack. Yeah, like right now it's gonna be a little bit warm to have this bare skin. Like under here it's because of that fire. Once that fire dies down, it'll be better. But yeah, I mean truthfully right now, I'm not feeling any, I'm not feeling any cold spots, but anyways guys that's going to do it for now um unless there's any bumps in the night or anything interesting i will uh <laughs> i'll talk to y'all in the morning Good morning, guys. Oh, sorry, so I ended up going to bed a lot uh, a lot later last night than I thought I would, uh, than I planned. I wasn't uncomfortable. I just uh, I started watching something on my phone and kind of got sucked in. You know how that goes. And uh, I still ended up sleeping in quite a bit. Right now it's uh, 8.30. So uh, the birds are out and everything's good. But to be honest, that was a very comfortable sleep. Uh, like I said, this ground, it, I ended up not needing my sleeping pad laying on my back, having this bearskin hoodie on and everything, no problem. The only thing that got a cold spot at any point was the old butt cheeks. So, but it wasn't like uncomfortably, like it wasn't cold, it was more just like sleeping on one of those gel memory foam uh, pads. So, all in all, success. I had planned on making uh, a cup of coffee this morning, but, uh, I need to I need to get up and get packed up and get out of here so 
another another successful enjoyable one in the books and uh it was it, it was good so you know hopefully we'll be able to revisit this uh shelter again if not i'll come back and take this tarp down and we'll use it for something else because uh got a lot of different got a lot of different ideas it's just gotta gotta take the time to execute them so with that being said guys i really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video i hope you enjoyed it uh please take and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already uh, share the channel and the videos with your friends family whoever might enjoy it hit me up in that comment section and uh, until the next one adios